You know, what, what search does is unique in the sense that it takes the intelligence of Gemini and we ground it with what search knows about the world. Mm. You know, what people really value is accurate, trustworthy information. Google's Gemini AI has constantly pushed the boundaries of what AI can do. It has unveiled a major upgrade to Gemini, promising to make it more powerful, accessible, and helpful than ever before. But this isn't just another update. It's a game changer that will redefine how we interact with AI daily. Get ready to experience a whole new level of what Gemini can do with these eight interesting AI innovations from Google. Enhancements to Gemini 1.5 Pro. One of the most impressive updates to the Gemini 1.5 Pro model is its new ability to handle a lot more text at once. This is called a context window, and now it can support up to 1 million tokens. It means the Gemini 1.5 Pro can now read, understand, and work with very large amounts of text at one time. This is very useful for tasks that involve long documents, detailed email threads, or big sets of data. For example, if you have a long report or a complex email conversation, the chatbot can process it all and give you meaningful and accurate responses. It can process a one hour long video or a PDF that is 1,500 pages long. Not only can it handle these large files, but it can also answer many complex questions about the information in these files. With this update, users can expect the chatbot to perform better when dealing with lots of information. It can generate responses that make sense and stay relevant to the entire context of what you're discussing. Even if the text is very lengthy, this makes the chatbot more helpful for various professional and personal tasks, improving its overall functionality and usefulness. The introduction of the Gemini 1.5 Flash mode. Gemini 1.5 Flash is the latest version in the Gemini family. This lightweight AI model is designed to be fast and efficient. It can handle a massive context window of 1 million tokens, which means it can process and understand large amounts of information at once. This makes it particularly good for tasks that need quick responses. One of the key features of this AI model is its ability to do multimodal reasoning. This means it can process and understand different types of data simultaneously, such as text, images, audio, and video. For example, it can read a text description, analyze an image, listen to an audio clip, and watch a video all at the same time. Gemini 1.5 Flash is a valuable tool for situations where time and efficiency are important. It can be used in many different ways, such as in customer service chatbots, creating captions or images for social media posts, scientific research, and business analytics. This tool is especially good at summarizing long texts, working in chat applications, captioning images and videos, and pulling out data from lengthy documents and tables. It can handle a wide range of tasks quickly and effectively. It not only works quickly, but is also cheaper to use. This makes it a great option for developers who want to build their own AI products and services without spending too much money. Google Search gets a boost for Gemini Generative AI. Google is adding Gemini to its search feature to make it better at understanding and answering complex questions. With Gemini, you can ask detailed, multi-step questions and even use quick videos in your search queries. This will help you get more relevant and useful search results. For example, instead of just typing a simple question, you can ask something more complicated that requires several steps to answer. Or you can use a short video to show what you're looking for, and Gemini will help find the right information. Google plans to start using this new feature in the United States first. After that, they will gradually make it available in other parts of the world. This means that eventually people everywhere will be able to use Gemini to improve their search experience. Gemini is coming to Android. Google is expanding its use of Gemini, its advanced AI, beyond just its search engine. One of the exciting new features powered by Gemini is called Circle to Search. This feature will be available on Android devices and allows you to search for anything you see on your screen. Here's how it works. If you see something interesting on your phone or tablet screen, you can draw a circle around it. Gemini will then search the web for more information about what you circled. This makes it easy to find out more about images, text, or anything else you come across while using your device. Google has also promised that Circle to Search will soon be available on Chrome desktops and tablets. 
This means that not only mobile users, but also those using desktop computers or tablets will be able to use this handy feature. Google is using generative AI to improve several features on Android devices, making them more helpful and accessible. First, this AI will enhance TalkBack, which is Android's screen reader. TalkBack helps people with visual impairments by reading aloud what is on the screen so they can navigate their devices and access information more easily. The improved AI will make TalkBack even better at understanding and reading screen content. Second, the AI will improve live scam detection. This means it will be able to spot scam phone calls in real time and alert users, helping them avoid falling for scams. These new features will first be available on Pixel devices later in 2024. After that, they will be rolled out to other Android devices. Additionally, another AI called Gemini will power the Google Assistant on Android. This will be available on devices running Android 10 and higher, and on devices with at least 2 GB of RAM, where the Gemini app is already available. This integration means that Google Assistant will become smarter and more efficient helping users with tasks and questions more effectively. Google Workspace won't be left out. Google has announced some new updates for Gemini and Workspace, which includes exciting features for Gmail. One of the main updates is the introduction of automatic draft email responses. This means the AI can write email replies for you. You can then choose to edit these drafts or just send them as they are. Another useful feature is that the AI can now summarize email threads directly in the Gmail app. This helps you quickly catch up on long conversations without having to read every single email. These new features will be available to people who use Gemini for Workspace and those who have Google One AI Premium subscriptions. They are expected to be released later this year. These updates aim to make managing emails easier and faster, saving you time and effort. Google Photos Update Google Photos is introducing a new feature called Ask Photos, powered by Gemini. This feature will let you ask questions about your photos and videos and get answers quickly. Imagine you have thousands of photos and videos stored in Google Photos. With Ask Photos, you can easily find specific pictures or remember past events without scrolling through everything. For example, you could ask to see photos from a birthday party or find a video from a vacation. Gemini will help you locate these quickly by understanding your questions and searching through your media. The Ask Photos feature will first be available in the United States. After that, it will be rolled out to other regions so more people can use it soon. This feature will make it much easier to manage and enjoy your photo and video collections, helping you find and relive your favorite moments with ease. VO Video Creation Google's VO is a video generation tool powered by Gemini that helps you create high-quality videos. These videos can be up to 60 seconds long or even longer. VO works by responding to your prompts, which means you tell it what kind of video you want, and it creates it for you. One of the cool things about VO is that it offers creative controls. For example, you can ask for quick zooms or slow motion shots, and VO will include these effects in the video. This makes the videos look more professional and interesting. VO is also good at keeping things consistent, even if you give it complex instructions. It can capture the details and emotions you want, making sure the video matches the tone you're looking for. Whether you want something that looks like a real life scene or something animated like a cartoon, VO can handle it. Google has plans to add VO's features to YouTube Shorts in the future, Veo's capabilities are likely to enhance these videos with new tools and effects. Right now, Veo's tools aren't available to everyone. They are currently being tested by a small group of selected creators. These creators can try out the features in VideoFX. However, this is not open to everyone yet. People who want to use these new tools have to join a waitlist. Synth ID Integration into Gemini Google's Synth ID is a tool that helps identify content created by AI. It works by embedding a digital watermark into AI-generated images, audio, text, or video. This watermark is like a hidden signature that tells you whether the content was made by humans or AI. Recently, Google has expanded Synth ID's functionality to include not just images and audio, but also text and video. 
This means you can now use Synth ID to check if a piece of writing, a video clip, or any other type of content was generated by AI. Synth ID makes it easy to tell the difference between human-created and AI-created content. For example, if you come across an image or a piece of text, Synth ID can scan it and let you know if it was produced by an AI. This is useful for ensuring the authenticity of the content you encounter online. Google is integrating Synth ID into its Gemini AI and its search engine. This integration will improve how people create and find content. When you use Google Search or Gemini, Synth ID will help you understand the origin of the content, whether it's a creative project or information from a search query. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.